today I'm not on the water, but I'm in my garage and I just wanted to show you what I'm up to. Well, accidents sometimes do happen and I have a Skylark behind me and the seat was broken. Um, so we're just replacing the seat with a new seat that Eddie Line sent to me and not that hard of a thing to do, but I just kind of want to show you the details involved and show you what I'm up to. And then I got to get to finishing this up so I can get back on the water. Well, here's the old seat. And what you'll notice here is there are three holes pre-drilled in the seat and those correspond to three hill holes here. So when I took this seat out, it had a hip pad over it. So I did have to remove that hip pad and probably the most amount of work I've done is just getting this gooey stuff off. I'm using a little bit of a sandpaper, a little, little blade that I had around and a bigger blade, just kind of scraping it. I could use some goo gone. I might do that to get some of that off. And then I drilled out the rivets um, and I'm going to use replacement rivets to put the new seat in. I used, I think, a 1364 um, drill uh, bit to get those out. Maybe a little smaller might have worked um, as well. But I removed those. And then one thing you'll notice is that Eddie Line also spot tacks this seat in place. And they use um, good old Devcom plastic welder. You can find this, you know, at any Ace Hardware. And it's a two-part acrylic adhesive, uh, methyl methacrylate, it's kind of the active ingredient. Anyway, once the seat's in place, they're doing kind of a tack uh, here, sometimes here, there, and then the back there and there. So once I removed the seat, what I ended up using to do so actually was this old, uh, old knife of mine. It was really easy to kind of slide into position under the seat, and I just gave it gentle taps, and then the seat broke free. The adhesive mostly stayed on the seat, right there and there, but um, I was, uh, like right here, I had to just use my little blade here to tap free, or you could even Dremel it. And I'll sand and surface prep that a little bit so we have a nice new surface to work with. And uh, so now I'm kind of all ready to put in the replacement seat, which is right here. Uh, it does not have a pad in it. And um, what you'll see here is I have set up the pillar. So this just has a simple pin going through it. These little mushroom tops just use a uh, mechanical force to get into position. And so this will be where either the backrest or the back band. We've got the positioning there for um, all the strap work. And then one thing that I had to do, which is um, through here, there's a rivet going in place. And what that does is holds the shock cord in position, which gives the back, uh, back pillar here some spring action so that if you sit down on your boat or sit on your seat and then you lift your butt up it'll snap back into position so we're kind of all ready here to put the seat back in place um, i'm going to have to line it up and then i will have to drill through here on the three holes to correspond with the other ones and uh rivet back in place and we'll put the seat pad back into position um, i'll show you that in a second and then we'll do some uh, spot welds um, with the methyl methacrylate Okay, I've got the new seat in position, and probably the biggest thing here, of course, is to get it all centered and lined up. So before removing the other ones, I did trace, and once I set this down and tack it down, we're gonna line up right there along that line, along that line, there I have a line, and back there. And then also kind of a good guide is, do I have similar here as I do about here? So, um, between the lines and just positioning and then i'm going to use these clamps um, to kind of hold in posi position so i drill through these holes and throw in some rivets Okay, so there's little spot welds right there just with DEFCON plastic welder. Tried not to get any out in the leading edge. Um, might just clean that up a little bit, just a little sticky stuff. Um, but it's tacked in and that'll keep the noise down and keep it in position. Then, uh, here's those. Fits right in, push in nicely. And then, Oh, 
voila. All right, in position. There we go, we got the backrest on. And here's how I threaded the backrest. Fastex buckles there, or the tri-glide buckles there, there. And then comes around, and so the tightening is here. And you've got C-height adjustment there. So here's what those look like. Uh, as the screw door goes down, it basically pushes out the plastic and locks it into position. But if you want to remove it, you can just back out the screw and then slide it out. That's different. A lot of companies have ones where you push it in and it's permanently in. You got to kind of break them to get them out. So that's kind of a cool attention to detail. All right, and now we've got the pads in. We are ready to get back to the water. Hope you enjoyed. If you had to do this repair, hope that was helpful. Not hard to do. Um, Eddie Line was super helpful in sending me the parts that I needed. And uh, it was just a matter of setting aside a couple hours where the phone wasn't ringing. All right, everybody. Hope you're out there paddling. See ya.